Suppose that a population grows according to the unlimited growth model described by the differential equation dy dt equals 0 0.1 times y. This is telling us that the change of y with respect to t is equal to a constant times our function y of t. And we're also given the initial condition y of zero equals 350. We want to find the size of the population at the time t equals five and round to the nearest whole number. We solved a similar differential equation earlier using separation of variables, but we also recognize there's a shortcut for finding the general and particular solution when we have a differential equation in this form. We discovered that if the rate of change of y with respect to t is proportional to y, meaning dy dt is equal to a constant k times the function y of t, then the general solution is y of t equals c times e raised to the power of kt. Or again, k is this constant here. And we also discovered that c is the initial value of y or y of zero. So going back to our example, notice that k is equal to 0 0.1. And because we know that y of zero equals 350, c is equal to 350. Which again is the initial value. And therefore, the particular solution to this initial value problem is y of t equals c, which is 350, times e raised to the power of kt, or 0 0.1 times t. So again, 350 is the initial value, or starting population, and because k is equal to 0 0.1, the exponential growth rate per unit of time is 10%. And therefore, to find the size of the population at time t equals five, we need to evaluate this function at t equals five, or find y of five, which would be 350 times e raised to the power of 0 0.1 times five. And now we'll go to the calculator and round to the nearest whole number. So we have 350. The second natural log brings up e raised to the power of and we have 0.1 times five, close parenthesis, enter. So we'll say the approximate population at t equals five is 577. Now as I mentioned, this is the shortcut for solving this differential equation. We could always solve this differential equation using separation of variables. So if you want to use that method, you may want to review our earlier example. I hope you found this helpful.